Would you give your employees a day off to care for their sick animal? I've called out to take my pet to the emergency vet. The way I see it, no job is worth the life of my furry friend if they were to get really sick. I'd never forgive myself if something really bad happened and I wasn't there to take care of them. I don't ask questions if people call off. I do ask questions if it's a continued thing. And at that point it's to ask if we should do FMLA. If not then might become a performance issue we need to resolve. I worked at a place where we accrued sick time for ourselves and a separate bank of sick time for caring for family members, pets or family members. So, gave a guy a day off because his chicken got attacked by a hawk. It's not my business what you spend your PTO on. If you have PTO, I don't ask questions. If you've got the time on the books I don't care if you use it to care for a sick pet or just to spend a whole 24 hours literally jacking off. As long as it wasn't abused. Absolutely. I've called out of work to take my dog to the vet when it was an emergency. My boss, also a dog owner, didn't even flinch. Yep. I wouldn't have done so in the past employees who are distracted make mistakes. Sometimes. Those mistakes are extremely costly. Sometimes. They are dangerous. I like everyone to be in a good mindset when they come into work. Yes. Mainly on the condition that pets never be brought into the office. Don't get me wrong. I love dogs and cats if they're well kept and clean. But I think we've all walked into a place of business where someone's a little too lax with the litter box and the smell hits you like a bus. You are sick. Stay at home. Fido sick. Stay at home. No coughing. No dog smell in the break room. No hassle. I'll even start a collection for Fido's medical bills if it means I won't have to smell dog vomit. Absolutely. Yes. My manager was actually so kind to give me bereavement time off when I had to have my cat put to sleep. Everyone deserves days off, even for just a mental health break. Of course. Pets are family too. Yeah probably depending on the person and how many times they've used that one. Not a free day off, but their PTO, sick time is theirs. If they have paid leave to use. Go ahead. If they're out of leave then it'd be more of a conversation. It was dinner rush in a busy upscale restraint outside of Charleston, South Carolina. The year was 2015. This is my story. Don Don. So got a call dinner rush my dog got out and had been gone for a good hour. They couldn't find her or get her to come to them. I go over to my sous chef and ask if I can leave for a family emergency. Callie is missing. He's like your dog? Yeah my baby man. So he's like get the hell out of here and find your baby. My father instincts were activated. It came to be that I found Callie about two miles up from my house in a suburb. I'm yelling down the road yelling out her name. Terrified. Ask a few people I see they said she kept going up the road. And it turns out she had a doggy apprentice friend she found at my house that day when my ex. Brought another dog home from the pound. Made sense why she would run off like that was not like her at all. Well trained. As in wouldn't leave my heel until I said okay or told a command. She was so sweet. Like loyal and super nice to everyone I couldn't have trained her to be mean if I tried. Well, maybe it's true the dog takes after the owner. My heart's too big most times. End up screwing myself over lol. Called my Suze told him I'd be back to work to help close up. Came back in we chatted and had a brew. Ends up he had the same breed as me. A couple beautiful pities too. Edit. I know that's not a sick animal.
but I was gone like 5h out the shift that's huge on a restaurant. At night petty much calling out the whole day. Also think about it she could have been hurt or stolen so fast I was so lucky to have found her. Ended up getting rid of the accomplice a few weeks later. Separation anxiety isn't something I could deal with on my time schedule. I hope she found a good home though folded hands. Peas. She couldn't chase them down she had no license at the time. That's why I ended up being called upside down face. That's why you name your cat, grandma. I don't own you. If you need time off. Take it. If you want time off. Take it. As far as I'm concerned. You don't even need to give me a reason. Your life is important. Don't let me keep you from it. My chinchilla lost a leg when he was 4 months old and my boss let me use my sick time in PTO to take 2 weeks off to care for him after his emergency amputation surgery. Poor baby couldn't eat or drink without my help and needed meds every 4 hours. This was on less than 12 hours notice as I called her crying from the emergency vet thinking he was going to die. He just had his first birthday and while she's moved up to a better position and therefore isn't my boss anymore, she'll always be a friend to me. If a job doesn't understand emergencies and you have to choose between your job and your family, that's a clear sign it's not a good place to work. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.